So this is a tutorial on how to recolor wigs like the ones in my mod, Zillow's Pastel Ombre Wigs. First I'm going to tell you how to do it for a completely new hairstyle, and then I'll also tell you how to do it for one that I already made but you want to recolor yourself. So first I'll show you that one actually. So I already have it quick in here, but here's where all the colors that I have already done are. So this is the easiest way to do it. If you already have a style that you like, then there's only a couple steps that you need to do to recolor it. If you want to recolor a completely new hairstyle, I'll tell you how to do that too. So first you're going to want to find the texture and it'll be in actor's character hair, KS hairdos, and here's all the hairstyles that are in Commonwealth Cuts. So what you're going to want to do is find the DDS one and the normal one, copy it, and bring it back to where the pastel ombre wigs are, which is in CC wigs, pastel, then paste it if you want to do a new one. If you want to do an old one, then just find it in here. Then you want to open up a program such as Photoshop or GIMP or Paint.net. You have to make sure that it can open DDS files, so you're going to need a plugin for that if you don't already have that. So I already have Photoshop open. And say I was already working on one right now, but you're going to want to open up that DDS file. Just either one of those doesn't really matter. So now you're going to want to recolor it the way you want it. And I find that ombre works the best. And first thing I'm going to do is the base color. So let's go for like pink or something. And light colors with darker tips are easiest to do. So I'll show you how to do the harder one actually. So actually let's go for purple. Uh, for darker ones, multiply might be best. For lighter ones, you kind of want soft light probably. And maybe do like two layers. Like for some of these, I did like two layers because blonde, it'll look better. Like I did soft light and soft light. So anyway, I'll do multiply and try and get it the color that I want it. And you want to, if you go into channels, you can see the alpha of the texture. So these are the hair strands. And the thing is that sometimes you can't really tell where the heck these are in the hair and you don't actually want to color all of them, but you're going to have to find out once you see it in game what looks best. So I'm going to create a new layer and start on my ombre and I'm going to block off certain parts because I'm going to do a gradient. And let's do light blue. It's going to look a little weird because it's going to be a light on a dark color, so it's going to be a little more difficult. Like, see, even though that looks okay-ish, you lose the texture. So I'm just going to keep going, though. Hope this one doesn't look terrible. I think I'll keep this one blank because it's probably part of the top pieces. But we'll see if it looks bad later and then I can fix it. So now I'm going to change this to overlay, but you can see now you can see the texture, but the color is not what I want. So I'm going to go to layer, layer mask, reveal all. And now I'm on the layer mask because I want to 
gradient away certain parts of it. So I'm going to do my boxes again so that parts that I don't want affected aren't affected. See, it already looks better. You can always turn down your opacity too if it's too harsh. Once you're done with this texture, you think it looks okay-ish, it's how you want it, then turn off the alpha and save it as a DDS. And if you're replacing an already made texture that I did, then just like open it up, edit it, and then save it over the exact same one, and then in-game it'll have your texture on it. And that's definitely the easiest way to go, but if you want a completely new hairstyle with a completely new color, then this is what you have to do. Um, I already, I renamed mine as wig, so I'm going to do gravitation wig .dds and save it. Save it as a DTX5. Okay, so now we're going to want to bring the meshes and the materials. So I'm going to open a new window. I have my KS hairdos meshes thing open, so I'm going to find the gravitation NIF, copy it, bring it to my meshes pastel thing, paste it, and now we're going to edit this NIF. So the first thing you want to do is open up an old one. This is one I already did. I changed the material file, so you want to click down, down, find this, press the TXT down here, copy it, exit out of that, you don't need it. Now open the NIF you brought over. Right now it's going to be looking for the material for the original KS hairdo's hair, and you don't want that, so replace it with the one that you copy pasted and change the name to whatever it's called. And save it. Now we're going to make the material file. So we're going to the my materials file and we're going to want to take an old one, copy, paste, rename it, Uh, you want to open this with the material editor. I already have that hooked up, so open it in material editor. It's a different program. Go to material and rename this to what your uh, DDS was called. Is that how it's spelled? <laughs> And if you end up with like a purple hair in game, chances are you spelled this wrong or did this part wrong. Exit out of that. Now we're going to want to open up our thing in Fallout 4 Edit. Open up my Pastel Wigs ESP. So we're just going to copy what mine, my uh, forms were. If you're trying to do a different color for an already made hairstyle, then I suggest, well actually if you do that, then you don't need to copy over a new mesh or texture, but like you want a new color for one of my hairstyles, but else you want to keep my old ones. So to do that, do what I'm doing right now, except do it with one that's already a material swap one, like this one, or 
my faux blue or something like that. So anyway, copy this as a new record, rename it to the name of the hairstyle. And do it for our armor add-on too. Let's start with this. So I'm going to copy the word gravitation so I don't have to keep typing it. Rename this to the NIF name. Now refresh this. It's down here. Rename this to your hair name and the color. And my color is like purplish blue, so I'm going to say purple blue. Keep this. Down here you want to change this to the form of the one you just made. So it's 1 EFB to change to that name. And I think that's it. If you're doing a material swap, then you need to copy a new one of these and change it from whatever their original BGSM was to what your new BGSM is. And this material that you made should, of course, link to your new textures and not the old one. And if you go in game and it still has the old one, then you messed up a texture path somewhere or this or something. So after you do that, save it. And it should be in game now, but if you want to have it in my box, then we have to... Oops, wrong thing. If you want it in the box and you don't want to, like, console code in the hairstyle, then open up the creation kit for Fallout 4. Remember to not touch anything when you open up your file, because it hates that. Okay, so now you want to find my container that I made, or make a new container if you want. So it's down at the bottom, Zella's Pestil, you can't even see it, but double click it. I already have all my hairs in there. If you already found this box, the hairstyle might not even be in there, because like, that's just how it is, so you might have to console code it in, in any way, but go into armor, find the thing that you made, and drag her in there. Now you're good. Okay. Save. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. And we're gonna go in game. Okay, so my box is in uh, Diamond City, and here's my wig. I'm gonna try it on. Wow, I did all the steps right. So yeah. If you, for instance, don't like those blue strands on the front, then you're gonna have to do some steps backtracking and finding which strips those are and changing them back to purple by deleting the gradient that you did. So it's like a back and forth process. Actually, I have a tip for you to figure out which strips it is that is colored the wrong way that you don't like. So I'm going to take my texture and color over it with different colors like so. Like, it's probably one of these, you know? So, I'm gonna put some different colors on it. And then check in game to see which one's the ugly one. So, be sure it's on a different layer so you can just delete it afterwards. Okay, so here we are, and the strands that I didn't like... I don't mind Shut the hell up. 
so the strands I didn't like were the ones that were purple and pink. So I'm just gonna turn those ones back to purple and keep also the green ones. I don't want those either. So I'll keep the yellow ones as blue, but the green, purple, and pink ones I'll turn back to purple. So yep, that's it.